Hello, my friends, and welcome to What Sold This Week on eBay. I'm glad you're here. I'm not going to be able to show you week one from the month of July. This is What Sold on eBay for the second week of July 2022. The first week I don't have pictures for, so I can't show you. So that's just how it goes. Um... Yeah, so let's get started. And the first thing we sold, as you can see, is this uh, this the Casio calculator. Was it was still in the package? I got it at the Goodwill for two bucks, and uh, I think it was Goodwill. I got it for two bucks. It might not have been. It might have been somewhere else. Um, I listed it. It's I had it a long time. I listed it November tenth, two thousand sixteen. So I have had this calculator a, a very long time. And it sold, it sold July seventh for thirteen dollars. It was the best offer I took at thirteen bucks plus shipping. Uh, who'd have known? It was new in package. It just it just didn't it didn't go. So yeah, all right. Next, isn't that that's kind of exciting when something that old sells? This I just got here that here uh, not too long before uh, I had it before I sold it. I got this at. It's just an old uh, kerosene can that I got at a yard sale back in May of 2022 when I was out with Bill. And uh, I listed this, or I, and I think I, nope, I thought I rented it at auction, but I didn't. I had it, I don't know what I had priced on it, but it sold July 8th. I listed it May 21st. It sold July 8th for uh, $35. $35 plus shipping on that. So that uh, that paid for a lot of what I, what I bought that day. So that was good. So next, this is, it's just the bottom of a princess house, some kind of a baking dish. It's the bottom piece. Uh, Fantasia is the pattern. It's all I know. Um, it was actually, it says I didn't pay anything for it. So I don't know if it was a piece that was around here. I think I picked up a couple of pieces at, at, uh, at the thrift store that were out in the free stuff, but I don't have zero. I have zero. I paid for this, so that's the right price. Listed April twenty fifth. It sold July eighth, and I got thirty two ninety nine. So thirty three bucks plus shipping on that. So that was that was a good sale. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the other piece that I got at the time was not this pattern. It was the top. It may have been Fantasia. I'm not sure. It was the top for something else? And I think I still have that piece. Next, now, this is uh, it's a model, I believe. Yeah, it's a model that I got a, uh, a private buy. Uh, I spent uh, like two hundred fifty bucks at the buy, and I got this. It was three dollars and sixteen cents, is what everything worked out to. So um, I just took all the all the amount that I had plus what I spent and divided it, and three sixteen is what I got. So uh, yeah. Listed this May 2nd, 2021. It took over a year to sell on July 9th for $18. So $18 bucks, uh, free shipping on that. But it, it was just a little. It probably went for a first class real cheap. So uh, it was just a little thing. Yeah, so that was a good deal. Next. And the moon tasks are done. And the moon tasks have been done for a very long time. Um, we haven't been back to the moon in decades and decades. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm not sure what would be there for us to go and see, but there it is. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is from 1969, and I didn't pay anything for it. It came, I believe, in a, in a property I cleaned out, and uh, it sat in the garage for a very, very long time. I believe that's where it came from. I'm not positive, but yeah, I know I didn't pay anything for it. So February 26th. Is when I listed it. It sold July 10th for $33, $32.99 plus shipping. So that was a sweet deal. That was sweet. Next. This is a little uh, set of Mark's dollhouse furniture for a, a metal, an old tin, one of those old tin litho uh, dollhouses I purchased at my antique shop. Um, when we were going out, when everybody was going out, they had, I think it was 75% off. So, uh, I, I bought it and I got all the stuff and I've been selling it off trying to get my money back. 
and yeah so I have I did I definitely got my money back so anyway this was listed this was listed uh, June 29th I just got a delivery something I bought on eBay just got delivered a toner cartridge for my brother uh, laser printer so yeah uh, June 29th this was listed it sold July 10th for $16.99 plus shipping and I did run that at auction, but it says two bids, but there's the same, the same, uh, the same bidder. So you don't get to see the second bid. Next, let me get a drink here. I'm, I, I'm a little, my, if you can't tell, my voice is a little funny. All right, not much better. So a lot of oh diecast. Diecast cars, little metal cars. They're all from Cars, the Disney Pixar movies. And uh, there's a little airplane in here, a little Corsair, all kinds of little different sizes and everything. And so there's 21 cars. I got 2250. I ran, again, I ran that at auction, um, and I got 2250 for them. So let's see. Uh, they were listed in you know, July 3rd. They sold July 10th for you know 2250. So. And those I just had around here. I just pick them up here and there, you know, a quarter or in a bag lot of stuff, you know. I don't spend much for them, so next. More dollhouse furniture. Goodness, now I'm yawning. What is up with this? Ah, dollhouse furniture. Yes. Same thing. It was from the same buy. Again, uh, June 29th, I ran it at auction. And uh, it was paid for on... July 11th, and I got 18.99 for this one. 18.99 plus shipping on that. So, next, this is something I think I picked this up at the niche. I did, I did. I picked this up at the niche. I paid six dollars for it. Uh, I think I got. No, I didn't get it at the niche. I got it at the little shop, the little thrift store in Mansfield. Yep, that's where I got it at. And uh, let's see, March 25th. Is when I bought it, no, when I when I listed it, and it sold July 11th for $44 plus shipping. They little, they were they were tough plastic, almost mm -hmm. like a, almost like a maybe kind of a fiberglass kind of a thing, but they weren't fiberglassy, but they just kind of looked that way. But yeah, they were a heavy, kind of a heavy plastic, nice, really, really, they're tough. They're 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 tough, so kids could throw them around probably hurt each other with them and uh but doesn't this kid in the picture on the box don't he look like he's getting ready to rear back like he's doing right yep all right next and this is just an old vintage primitive -y kind of knife i picked this up this i did i picked up at the niche i believe and i i bought a bunch of a bunch of knives and and most of them i this one I ran at auction. The other ones I I did buy at Nows on. So there, I think I've sold all of them from that day. I bought a bunch of them that day, and uh, yeah. So I don't have a price here on what I paid for them because I, it was a two dollar two dollars a bag. I think I think it was two or three dollars for a whole bag of kitchen stuff. So that was a good that was a good deal. So I don't really I probably charged that three dollars to one of some other product. Anyway, so May 9th is when I listed this. It sold. It sold, uh, I didn't run it at auction. What am I talking about? It sold July 12th for 15 bucks. 15 bucks with free shipping. So, uh, <clears throat> that is not a killer, but it was, it's a good deal. Uh, yeah, 15 bucks for something I paid maybe a quarter, 50 cents for. And I just sold another knife, <clears throat> I believe, for $33 from that same day. So, cool. Next. Hard to believe that's that's going on almost a year ago. Wow, it doesn't seem man it flies by. Don't time just doesn't it doesn't it just go by like fast? And the older you get, it goes faster and faster and faster. It's just crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right, this is just a set of four Corel mugs. They sold for twenty ninety five. I listed these April 29th, 2019. 
the buyer never never paid for these, so it, the, it got canceled. And I, I'm pretty sure I still have them. I, they got relisted, but I still have them. So that was a bummer. That was something I wanted to see sell. So I did pay three three dollars and fifty six cents for them. So for the lot. All right, next. Dr. Seuss, the Hoover Bloob Highway. It's a VHS tape. Um, I don't think I've ever seen the Hoover Bloob Highway. But, yeah. And I also have here that I don't know what I paid for it. So, yep, yeah, that's that. Listed May 9th. Uh, it sold July 12th for $9.89 with free shipping. So, shipping probably $3.50, $3.56, something like that. Um, yeah, so not a killer, but hey... I got a good deal on it, so zero. I think it may have come out of a box of freebies from the niche. There were there was a box of VHS freebies that I took one day. I think it might have come from there. So, all right. Next, Peyton Place. This is an old, 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 old vintage paperback. Uh, let's see. I paid 50 cents for this paperback and I listed it May 26th. It sold July 12th for $9. $9 free shipping. So again, there you go. All right, next. Um, I, I can't say that word. African chicklets? Are they are they fish? Those are fish, I think. They look like they like it must be fish. It's not about the plants. It's got to be the fish. So, just a book. It's just a book about these fish, I guess. And uh, I didn't pay anything for that either. That's a zero. I don't don't know where that came from. Listed it in March 23rd. It sold July 13th, and I got 21.99 free ship on that one. That's a good deal. Zero to 22 bucks. Sweet. Yep, that's a good deal. Next. And this is the last thing I sold this week. Is this? A little, it's a little bicycle bell. Ring, jing, 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 as you're going down, pretending you're Pee Wee Herman. Jing, 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 jing. And this I also paid nothing for. Oh, I know where this came from. This came, probably the African book there, too. The African fish book probably came uh, from someone who came into the shop and was selling stuff. And I, I probably got it in a box lot of stuff. So, anyway, this I listed... I listed this July 9th. It sold July 14th for $6.99 plus shipping. And that was a fair fair price for this item, considering the condition and, and the other ones that were listed. I, I, did, I did fine with that. So my, uh, my net sales after the, for, well, my net costs for all the stuff that I bought after the uh, item that was canceled is $13.66. So I paid thirteen dollars and sixty six cents, and my net sales after the item that was canceled, the twenty ninety five, is two hundred and ninety seven thirty two. So two hundred ninety seven thirty two minus eBay fees and whatever shipping costs or and stuff. But you know, most stuff I, I charge shipping for. So yeah, so that's what we made this week. Um, again, I don't think I had really gotten back into the swing of listing on eBay at this point yet. I think I was still cross-posting, although I might not have been. I was still cross-posting from List Perfectly to Etsy and Mercari, and uh, I, I need to do that again one of these times soon and actually sell some stuff, because right now, as of February um, 2023, I am not selling that much on eBay. I, I do. I have good days and bad days, but um, I list every day, and it's just not. I'm still making great. I'm still making sales on Etsy, not so much on Mercari. Although I did do almost six hundred dollars on Mercari in the last two months. So you know, for what it is, for not having listed anything new and having to be all old stuff, that's pretty good. And uh, Etsy's been Etsy's been fantastic. I mean, I had one sale today on on eBay, and I've had three sales today on Etsy and I haven't listed on Etsy in months now so um, if you have vintage stuff and you're getting beat up by eBay not selling your stuff maybe try 
Maybe try moving over to Etsy and see what happens. Um, just go over and list a couple things. Just see what happens. I know it costs 20 cents every 90 days or whatever. You don't have, uh, you know, free listings. It is 20 cents. Um, but that 20 cents shouldn't hurt you none. I mean, not if you're making a sale right away. Now, I do have free shipping on Etsy, though. So I, I bumped my price up a little bit to try to cover some of that cost of free shipping. But and it seems like, and I'm not positive, but it seems like Etsy has... I don't know. It almost seems like they get a better price on shipping from the post office than what what eBay gives you. What's this? Well, that's just that thing. So anyway, yeah, that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Y'all have a great day. I do appreciate you you uh, stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and if you like my videos, you know, feel free to subscribe. So I don't really. Uh, I've noticed lately that I've I've had a little uptick in subscribers, and I do appreciate all the new people as well as the people that have been around. And if you'd like the opportunity to have a chat with me, go ahead and uh, I have a Facebook group. It's called the Dave's Totally Chill Relaxed Facebook group or something like that. And uh, you're welcome to you're welcome to pop over and and uh, and join the group and say hi. Um, then feel free to. Talk to me. You can you can post questions below in the video too, and I, I do my best to answer the uh, any questions that are in there to the best of my ability. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not the uh, most professional reseller you'll find, but I, I do resell, and I've been doing it since '99. So yeah. So anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.